Hi everyone, this is Carrie Gans, once again, from Twitter Right Blog and NewbieRewards.com. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying some of the videos we've been creating, and I hope they've been beneficial to you uh, regarding your blog or even your websites. So uh, keep on coming back. We, we try to do them periodically whenever we find something that has some importance, or at least we think it's important. What I want to show you today is a uh, real simple plugin that allows you to put a contact form on your blog. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, as I say in my post today, the more you can communicate with your visitors and your readers, my belief is the more action you're going to get at your blog. The more loyal people will become, the more friends you'll make, uh, the bigger your community will, uh, will grow, and the faster it will grow. So anything you can do to, to create that kind of camaraderie, I think is important. That's why I think you should have an FAQ on your blog. And I think you should have phone numbers and contact information and a contact form where people can send you something that they may not want to be published in a comment section on your blog. So a comment form is kind of cool, and, it, uh, and they're, once again, it's free. So anyway, the one we're going to show you today is called WP Contact Form with Capture. Now, the reason I want with Capture is I want to make sure that it's a live person sending me the form, that it's not some, you know, some hacker or some... Uh, Spider or something doing it. So we want to do it with Capture. So it's real simple to do. What you're going to do is, as you do with all plugins, and you can see I have a whole bunch, we're going to go to Add New. And once we go to the Add New page um, on all plugins, we're going to go ahead and go into the search. Well, let's see, it's not going anywhere. I'm going to pause this for a second. Oh, wait, there we go. I just have a lot going on here, so it takes a little while for these things to run. Anyway, so we're going to type in WP contact form with capture. Should bring it right up. And then what's going to happen is there it is WC simple contact form with capture, and I'm going to install it. And just tell it OK. So what it's going to do now, it's going to install it on my blog. It's done, and I'm going to activate it. Now, once you activate it, you have to go over to your settings on the left-hand side. So you scroll down to settings, and you find WP Capture. Let's see if we can find it. Simple contact form options. We're going to click on that. Once we click on it, it'll bring up a page, and very simple. All you're going to do here is send the completed form to... And I'm going to put in my email address. Subject is new form. I'll just use the one I've used before, new contact form. And I, I'm going to use five numbers in the capture. Uh, you can use whatever you want. And that's just going to denote how many letters someone has to type in order to go ahead and send the form out. Now, the other thing you have to look at is usage. What, all you need to do is take this, is copy this tag, including the brackets. Go right-click on it and click copy. Now what that will do is um, that will put the form wherever you want to put it, whether it's on a its own page or whether it's on another contact page. So let's go ahead and submit. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to go over to pages, and I think I have a contact page on here. Let's see if I do. I believe I do. Let's see if we can find it. I have a lot of pages. So let's see where my contact page is. Hopefully it's... There it is. Contact us. I'm going to edit my contact page. Now you can put this on its own page. If you don't have as many pages, go ahead and just put it on its own page. So here I have... You can get to me by email. Okay, here's another form I have on here already. But I'm going to add it here just to show you how it works. So I'm just going to paste it. And I'm going to get rid of this one. So I got rid of that. I'm going to update my my page, and it's going to put this simple form right below customer service at Twitter right. So that's now done. Now let's go over to the blog and see if it worked. So here we are at the blog, at my blog. Now let's get to the top here. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the about us, to the contact page. And with a little bit of luck, this will have worked. Okay. 
There you go, email, and there's the form. And there's the five letter capture and submit. If someone fills this out, the information here will be sent to you via email. And then you can respond or do as you please. So that's about all there is to it. It's a very simple form. Uh, this is live help. This is Zaza Chat, which is a, we have a video on this. That's real cool too. It's just, once again, another way of communicating, but we're not going to do that. So anyway, that's how you use a WP contact form. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, tell your friends about Twitter right blog. Get over to NewbieRewards.com. Get your free membership or silver platinum. And um, I have thousands of, of products on there, PLR products. We have uh, all kinds of videos and video courses and tons of eBooks and software and graphics. Anything you can think of that you could use on a website or a blog is probably over at uh, NewbieRewards.com. And um, check back often. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day, and we'll see you at the next video.